Hello guys and girls, I'm Marcus Dream. I'm Junk here and in today's video I will be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on Sonic Boom Fire and Us. First off, if you like the video be sure to drop a like, comment and subscribe. Alright, let's get on with the video. So what are my thoughts on Sonic Boom Fire and Ice? First, before I make my thoughts on there, what are my thoughts on Sonic Boom in general? Well, first to start off with you guys, the fans, the fans of you who do not like Sonic Boom at all. Well, for me, um, I guess I can say I halfway like it. I don't want to say I don't like it or like it. Sonic Boom can be a little better, I guess. I said I guess. But, as said before, I do, I don't, don't like it. I don't do like it either. You get what I'm saying? Hopefully you do, but... Yes, I guess I can say I halfway like it, basically. So anyways, um... Sonic Boom. Like, for example, the type of gameplay. That's the reason why of Sonic Boom that wasn't liked because of the type of gameplay. Because Sonic the Hedgehog is all about speed, platforming, homing attacking, um, you know, you know, flipping, doing tricks, you know, all that basic Sonic stuff. Like from the classic era in Dreamcast era. Yeah, so, um, and for the 3DS, that, that one was more of a platform style of Sonic Boom. That one is more my style of Sonic Boom. I like Rise of Lyric the way it's gameplay, I guess I can say. But for me, I can use some fighting in a Sonic game sometimes, and plus Sonic, he can't be running uh, running around at the speed of sound forever now, cause you know, Sonic he's getting older, he's gonna get up there one day whenever he's like, like with Uncle Chuck, I think that's his name, but he will get up there someday, like, uh, no, but that's not the main point, but the main point is about the type of gameplay Sonic Boom is, I, as said before, I can use some type of fighting gameplay in a Sonic game, like Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, um, to me, I really wouldn't mind, because Sonic Boom Rise of the Lyric has a type of gameplay like, for example, I guess I could say Teen, Teen Titans Go. No, not Teen Titans Go, I watched Cartoon Network too much. Like a Teen Titans game I used to play on GameCube, I'm not sure which one, but it was some game on there. Yeah, so Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that type of gameplay. That's what Sonic Boom Rise of the Lyric was. Now for the 3DS version, Sonic Boom Shattered Crystals, I think that's the name. But that one was more of a Sonic game. Why? Because you're actually running and like homing attacking, I think. I think you homing attacking there, but I, I need to check out the gameplay. Yeah, so um, that is my more type of gameplay for Sonic Boom. Um, Shadow Crystal for the 3DS, yeah. Um, but the question is, have I ever actually played those games? No, I've never played none of the Sonic Boom games. Yeah, so um, how, so I guess you're probably asking, so how you like it? No. I don't have to like a game in order to know if that is good or not. Like, I did the same with Sonic Generations. I knew how to play the game before I even played the game. Both the 3DS and the, um, I guess regular console version slash PC. I have Generations on PC right now. Yeah, so that's not the point. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I said before, that's the way how I learned how to play Sonic Generations. It's just to like it, and I know how to play it. Yeah, so for Sonic Boom Fire, Sonic Boom in general, I guess I can say I know how to play it because I play um, games type, that type of gameplay, excuse me. Yeah, so I guess I can say it before. Now let's move on back to Sonic Boom Fire Nice. Sonic Boom Fire Nice was supposed to be released on the 3DS, I think in, two th in the late 2015 or early 2016, I'm not really sure, but apparently Sega, they delayed it so they can actually work on it. To me, I actually really like that Sega delayed it. Why? Because they, they said they want to actually work on it. And that really, that really like makes me happy and all. Like that Sega, they actually want to make this a good Sonic Boom game. Yeah, so I'm just really happy for Sega they actually want to do this because they know, Sega knows that the whole entire Boom franchise, except for the TV show, I guess, was doing bad. The TV show is great, in my opinion, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, so, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm, as I said before, I'm really glad that Sega is willing to actually delay the game and actually work on it. So, m to be honest, everybody, uh, those fanboys and fangirls in the comment section, are all, uh, you better listen, okay? This is specifically for you. I'm actually looking forward for the new Sonic Boom game. Yes, I am. Because, first of all, I like the elements of fire and ice. Those are really good. And as said before, Sega said they want to actually work on it. So, to simplify all of this for the Boom franchise and all, whatever, 
I guess I can say I do like it, but I don't want to say I don't like it either. I guess I maybe the maybe Sonic Boom Fire and Ice could maybe fix all the problems that was in Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric and Sonic Boom um, Shattered Crystals. I think that's the name of it. Yeah. So yeah, to simplify it all, everybody, I am looking forward for Sonic Boom Fire and Ice because Sega said they want to work on it, and I'm willing to actually give Sega a chance. I'm a person. I'm a really nice person that likes to give a whole lot of chances, but I think sometimes I'm a little too nice. Yeah. So anyways. Yeah, so far, I guess if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. Like goal is to get a hundred likes, and don't forget to subscribe. I, so far, I'm really doing good due to my Sonic time relapsing. And other than that, see you guys for my Dream. I'm Sean signing off. Stay um, liking Sonic, I guess. Whatever. See you guys.